welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a look on the Buxom eyeshadow palette this is a customizable palette that I made at Sephora and I'll show you the colors this is how it looks like so I'm gonna be using most of the colors on this palette and yeah so if you want me to do a review on it let me know but I just want to do a quick eye look with this um, I did do uh, first impressions on this foundation that I'm wearing right now so that's why I didn't include it in this video but um, yeah or on my eyes okay so I'm gonna be first taking the um, MAC 224 brush with this light pink shade right here and I'm just gonna put this onto my crease this is a nice transition shade um, it's like a pinky petal type of shade I'll list the names down below. Um, I don't have them with me right now, but I will list them, so don't worry about that. These are said to have a built-in primer, so you don't need a primer um, using this. Well, that's what they told me. So that's why I didn't apply a primer. I only applied some concealer and set it with um, powder, but that's not really a primer. It's a, it's a, it's a base, but not a primer. So. That's what I did, and I'm just blending out that pink shade. So that's my transition shade. Next, taking the Sigma E25 brush, and I'm taking this nice sable brown shade right here, and I'm applying this onto my crease. And that's really pigmented. I just apply a little bit, and all that came out. I'm just winging it out just a tad bit. Next, taking my favorite e.l.f. brush, I'm going to go in with this pretty nice brownish shade right here and I'm going to apply it all over my lid. The, taking that um, Sigma E25 brush, I'm just going to blend that out. Next, I'm taking the shade right over here. It is my favorite shade out of the whole entire palette besides this one. I'm taking this into the inner corner. Of the eye, I'm using this shade right here. This is right in the middle between the inner corner highlight and the lid shade. This one right here. I'm just going to apply that onto the middle of my lid. Just a tad bit for some light. Okay, next we're going to finish off the under eye area. I'm using this black pencil by Urban Decay. This is in the shade 0 and it's just a black. Applying that onto my lower lash line. Okay, once you're done with that, I'm going back in with that brown shade. I'm going back in with that brown shade right here and applying that onto the lower lash line. Okay, once I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with that chocolate shade that we applied on the lid onto the lower lash line as well. And applying that shade we applied on the top, applying that just in the middle of the lower lash line okay we are now done with the eyes I'm gonna go in and put some wing eyeliner and I'll be right back okay so I'm back I did my eyeliner and my mascara for my mascara I use the last the lash sensational by Maybelline and for my eyeliner I use my Sephora fine line pen and my NYC liquid liner to make it more darker so for contour I'm gonna be using the Contour Palette by Wet n Wild. This is how it looks like. And I did have it in my June favorites. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. But I like the contour because it's really, really nice and pretty like, light. Um, the more you like you like dig a brush in, the, like, you're not going to get that much product either way. So I think that's awesome just because for beginners, you want to not get a, like the Cavon D 
um, contour palette or like the Anastasia contour palette where you dip it and it's like a lot of product. So if you're a beginner, I totally recommend getting this contour palette. This is in the shade Caramel Toffee. So yeah, so I'm going to use this with the Sigma F05 brush, taking that contour shade. And I'm just going to contour my cheeks. As you can see, it gives you a natural contour. It's not that harsh contour that I like, but it's pretty good. Next to bronze up the skin, I'm using the Smashbox um, Sun Tan Matte Bronzer. And this is just a matte bronzer. And it's pretty good. I just recently got this, and I like it. Okay, once I'm done with bronzer, I'm gonna go ahead and use blush, and this is Tarte Blush in the shade Peaceful. So it's just a peachy shade with some like golden sheen to it, little like sparkles. So I'm just applying this with my MAC 129 brush. Okay, once I'm done with blush, I go in with highlighter, and I love using the Mary Luminizer. This is an oldie but a goodie. I love this product. It gives you like that, like, that highlight though kind of look. So I'm using it with Sigma F35 tapered, blend, tapered blush, tapered brush, and applying this onto the high points of my face. Okay, once I'm done with all of that, I'm going to go in with my lips. So I'm using Max Flesh Pot. This is a nice nude shade with no lip liner, just on its own. And on top, I'm going to use um, my Makeup Academy Lip Gloss in the shade Bear. And you can get this at CVS. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Um, yeah, I thought it would be fun using the new Buxom eyeshadows. Um, if you want to do a review, again, let me know down below. Like the video if you like the look. And yeah, um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.